Uh, once you rinsed it out, just make sure you open the tank so it can ventilate and just leave it like that to get some ventilation on it. So, drain it out. Ready? Okay. So that's where we picked up on your last one. Bottom part, now you turn on your vacuum. Microfiber towel, a yellow one. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. matter. We go. Yeah, we have blue. That's fine. Just, just clean your uh, hose. Yesterday, I put the back 
And you always want to start from the entrance. Want it on? Yeah, turn it on.
So now either I could I could fan. Or I could pinpoint. So and if you stand if you stand at an angle, it won't get all over you? That's what I'm, I'm just, that's it. Oh, you're like really close, yeah. No, I obviously, I know that. I just want to see what. See all that stuff that's pulling out of it? Mm -hmm. That's where the restorative thing comes in. Nice. I'm going to take a bit of time. The detail. Pull that, all that stuff with your Johnny Mop? Mm -hmm. no, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my level? And before you do any of this, you want to make sure you sweep the vat, sweep and get all the litter off the ground. So sometimes you don't have to untangle all the bows. So every 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 loop you take off is about four feet. So. If you don't want to do this with the manual brush, either you, you can come in with a floor machine, if you have a floor machine, with the brush and hit it. You guys have iBox too, right? Or the iMops? Yeah, iMops perfect. Just by me doing this, look at that all the down, out of the ground. Guys, get your grout clean. This is going to be by far the longest process. Does that make sense? Yeah. Once the grout is clean, you're going to clean what's dirty. 
the whole entire floor doesn't need to be done every day. Does that make sense? And you notice that Jose is cleaning with the grout line. to the grout. That's when you have why that's why you have that order. that will be more like a, like a restorative cleaning. But then you have to take all the paper out and all that other stuff out. This one is if you don't have good drains, say your drains clogged, but you notice where, where the water's getting collected, 
you can stick this with this in an area that you see that the water is getting puddled and you could have the pump and your solution turned on at the same time. So what this would this will do is as you see water getting puddled and that will stuck get stuck to the floor, it will just suck up the water. Or if you need to clean uh, trash cans, you, know, you can stick this in there, use your pressure, rinse out the your trash cans and everything's getting sucked out. Because yeah, this yesterday, same yesterday I had a valley with a new restaurant and it was just collecting water and I was using I didn't use that that piece there, I used the whole so yeah, you, it could be, because uh, this machine, they, they created this machine so it could be a one-man operation. So you could have the vacuum on, you could have the pressure on, stick this on the floor and it will suck up the water at the same time. That's why it's here. So what is this for? Yeah. And it's like, uh, I didn't know what it Yeah, so now you know. Yeah. So we need to know a specialist. Well, now you have your, uh, right here we have your cord. You have about, I think it's about 50 foot footer. Make sure, whoever's gonna be operating the unit, make sure you have this cord on the machine. you had that. Especially with the, this component. Because you're gonna be working on water. That's a GFI, ground fault interrupter, designed so it can lay in water and nobody's at risk of being zapped. I've seen that sometimes these cords get disappeared people you would just grab a regular cord. Do not operate the machine if you have a regular cord on the machine. For your safety. Okay, always for your safety. And before you operate the unit, make sure you wear gloves and goggles. Your PPE. Okay. Oh, we need something else. Yeah. Where's the... No, so I'm you fine. have a little pouch with tips. So if you, uh, in the future, get Kind of really. product or Kyo. Uh, then th that's when you would need to put these tips in the end of the caps. So each color will determine what's the ratio that's going to be coming out. Because uh, with our product, you don't need to put tips. The tips are, are in the bottle already. So the only thing you have to do is screw the cap and hook up your um, product. So you have two caps, So because you have two feeders. You have feeder A, that would be the one on the top. And you have your knob right here, so you would determine what, what product. Then you can have your other bottle here, when, once you put your cap on it. So you, now you can have another, you could have say an enzyme, or down here you could have a disinfectant, or uh, an acid. Your Kai Blue acid. or your Kyo. Correct. So you determine, so if you're gonna be doing daily, You'll probably just use uh, either a disinfectant or an enzyme. If you're going to do uh, restorative cleaning, you might have a bioacid product here that you're going to be using either once a week or, or or twice every every two weeks or so or once a month. A higher pH product to uh, get rid of uh, hard water deposits and minerals that you will have on the rest on the rest. And, and you would use that for a deep clean, more or less. That would be more like a, that for a deep clean. This one will, will be more lady, but it, it does. A, it, it's a really good cleaner. It's an enzyme, so if you have a restroom that smells really bad, like urine or stuff like that, this is the product you prefer to use. But if you need to use a disinfectant, then excuse me. Yes, this product eat the uh, dirt. What was that? Eat the dirt. If it eats dirt, uh -huh. well, it's a good cleaner. Oh. It's, it's a really good cleaner. Okay, it's not an acid, it's just an, it's like uh... You guys can go on in, because there's a little separate hose that you can use to go to any. comes out of the machine. Mm -hmm. You can go to any hose bib. It presses on. So that's how you fill it up. Okay. And that automatically goes to the clean water tank. And the water mixes in with the benzene. Nope. The no. enzyme only mixes when the machine's on. Right. That's what I was 
Yeah, that's okay. I, I was putting carrots before the horse. <laughs> Oh, well, that's going to be the bottom tank, huh? Yeah, because you have a lot of right here. Filling up the machine. So this stuff tank is going to take me. No, it's, 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 it's in two compartments right here. See the, the recovery's over here. The recovery's over here. Oh, wait, what? And that hole is in your finish. It just sits right there. Yeah. It's a bag here. So in this bag, you have an extra hose with the great cups. This one has flat cups. So this hose is only strictly to be used to recover water. This one is strictly to air blow the surface that people are gonna to be touching after you clean the restroom, like the toilet seat covers, the handles, the flushers. And this hose plugs in. Yes, okay. That's where it plugs in. And it has a little small knob too. It should be in here. This one. See this one? This one plugs in to here. Oh, what's that for? It's a blow dryer. Oh. It's a blow dryer. So now, if you need to do uh, high dusting or high blowing, like your vents and stuff like that, you take this off, stick that in here, and now you can use your wand with your hose and you can air blow the top portions of your restroom. That's when you're doing a deep clean because everything goes to the ground. You have a tutorial connection, plug it in, and it will give you how to use the machine. It will show you how to use the machine. So you have your tutorial, plug it in, and I'll let... I used that yesterday morning. You did? Oh yeah, yeah, it's right there, I'm gonna use it's it. It's right there, it's, yeah. And it explains, it breaks it down it breaks for it you. breaks it down for you. Yeah, it's very, very where easy. Where to uh, put the water, where to stir the water, how to use the wand, how to use the pressure hose, how to prime it, stuff like that. A little tip, uh, once you start using the machine, you notice it will, it will get, this tube will get full of chemical, or this one too. But say you're not gonna be using the machine, let's say for a week or two, it's just sitting in a closet, I recommend you to take the cap off. Say you can fill this with plain water, or you can fill it with vinegar, put it here, Turn on your pump, press your trigger, and let's let it siphon out the product. If not the product that's in here, it will go get gooey, and then it eventually will clog this little filter here. There's, inside of here, there's a, uh, like a like a little bearing check ball valve. and a check valve mm -hmm. and a little spring. So that's where you will have issues. That they, Machine's not working, it's not siphoning the product. That is the issue. So that will give you less headaches when you're, say you're operating the machine and nobody's around, it's like, how do I make it work? So that's one of the keys. Make sure you flush it out, flush out the system. To, uh, to inject the chemical, you usually have to press this out. And then you, once you determine what product you're gonna be using, either it's A or B, we'll put it, say, on A. We will dispense the product throughout the restroom. Once you're, uh, say, almost, say, three quarters, almost leaving the restroom, come out, shut it off, Put it on off, because you will still have chemical through the line. So you want to flush that product out your line and just dump it on the floor. Then just once it's on the floor, you come you agitate the surface of the floor. Uh, once you do that, you, now you're going to come back and you're going to do high pressure. So now high pressure, I press this first. And that will be high pressure either. You, I'll show you right now when we use it. Uh, you can move this and you either fan or you can pinpoint. Obviously, the, the longer you stay in one area, you're dumping more water out of onto the floor. So you have to go away quick. Spray quick, rinse. And once you uh, rinse, now you come, you vacuum. Once you're vacuuming, if the restroom's gonna be uh, open right away once you're done cleaning the restroom, that's when you will use the, the blower. 
the, the restroom's not gonna be operated uh, after you use it, you could let it air dry, and 